All right, so I'd like to show you how to change your audio and your video tracks in Adobe Premiere Elements 13. And what I've done is I've already loaded a couple of things onto my uh, my board here. And the first one I've got a video. This is a, a music video that I did. And uh, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is just get rid of part of both your video and your audio track. So if this is uh, the original uh, video that I recorded on the camera and if you'll notice if I play this it's uh, just kind of me setting up the camera and uh, getting in place All right, you and uh, asking uh, Winch Laurie if uh, it looks okay clearing my throat blah 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 I don't need any of that right so I'm gonna grab uh, this blue handle over here since I've already looked at this video and I know where I want to start recording at uh, I can also look at my audio down here and kind of see where it looks like I start playing at. Um, so there's my there's my introduction. So I can stop that there, check it. All right. So here's a song called. So yep, that's where I want to start it. So I'll back that up, and I want to split the clip. So if I go up here to timeline, and I click on that. There's a thing that says split clip, but odds are it's not going to be highlighted because if I've clicked anywhere on here and I hit the timeline, uh, the split clip will not be an option. I have to have, have clicked. Well, and it's going to be an option for me all the time now, but I have to click on the, the audio video uh, track that I want to split. So I click timeline, come down here, hit split clip. It's also control K. And that will allow me to split that clip. Okay, so now you'll notice that they're kind of highlighted in different colors. If I click on this side, it highlights that section. It clicks on this side, it highlights this section. So now all I have to do is hit the delete button, and it will delete that section of both the audio and the video. Okay? Uh, so let's say that um, I've, I've got this, I've started singing, and instead of just showing me singing, I want to include a picture. So I've got a picture over here and I can drag that in okay and it shows the picture but it also shows this, the video here on the sides uh, maybe might be a little bit easier to see a different picture yeah you can see that over here on the sides I still have the video behind there so if I want to get rid of the video to where all I see is the picture I have to actually get rid of part of that video so what I'm going to do is right there at the start of where I want my picture to be I'm going to again click on this track and highlight it. Okay. And I'm going to go up here to timeline and I'm going to hit split. And now I'm going to unlink the audio and the video because I want to get rid of the video for a certain section, but I want the audio to keep going. So to do that, I'm going to right click somewhere here on the clip. And up here, there's a link that says unlink audio and video. So I'm going to click on that. And now if I click over here on my first section, you'll notice it highlights the audio and the video or the video and the audio track. But if I click over here, it just highlights either the video track or the audio track. So that confirms to me that those are split. So in this case, I want to uh, go forward for the duration of my picture. And I want to click on the, the video track. And I want to go up here, split clip. Okay. And now it will have split. Um, just the the video section the audio is still in one piece so now when I click over here it's it may be uh, hard to see I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit here so so now I can I can either highlight the video the audio which goes over here or I can highlight that video that I want to get rid of that's for the duration of this picture and actually now that I'm zoomed in a little bit uh, better I can uh, line those up a little bit uh, better so that the, it's exactly the same size which is important so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to delete it and you'll notice it moved my video in here to fill the void you don't want that so you got to grab this and you got to move it back okay because you want this hole here because otherwise the video and the audio is not going to be linked up over here and uh, it, the lip sync and everything will be all off so now I can grab this and I can either drop it down here uh, to where it looks like it's in there or I can leave it up there. It really doesn't matter because it's going to display the same 
when I click uh, play, it's going to show the video there while the audio keeps going. And then when it comes back, uh, my audio and, and the video are in sync again, which is what I, I want. I don't want those to get out of sync, and it's really easy to mess it up. So you got to pay uh, real close attention to that. Uh, so I'm going to go back over here to my, my scale button. I'm going to bring that back to the left to put this all in, on one screen here. And so now I'm going to show you what, what, uh, how to do it if you want to replace some of the audio. So, um, or, or you, you want to replace some of the video instead of with a picture, replace it with other video. And so over here I have a, a clip uh, of uh, another video, different video. And let's say I want to steal some of that video, but I don't want the audio. So again, I click on this, I right click, I go up here to unlink audio and video. So now those are different. I, um, I can click here and validate that the highlight changes differently. So I don't want any of the audio for this because it's not part of my song. So I'm just going to hit the delete key. And now my audio is gone and I have video. So what I'd want to do in this case is bring this over where I want to replace the video. And let's say I've uh, checked that out because uh, right here there's a, oops, let me get that back on screen. Right here there looks like there's a change in the, the cord or something. So uh, I'm going to line that up to where I want it to be here. Okay. And um, I'm going to go down here. And again, my, my audio and my video are already unlinked down here, which is fine because I'm going to keep the same audio all the way through. And so I'm going to put a, um, grab my marker here and put it at the at the start of that that video and I'm going to click down here on this video link and I'm going to go up here timeline split clip I'm going to go to the end of this video part again highlight my video timeline split clip and I'm going to hit delete and again it moved everything that's not what I want Okay, but I got my marker here at the end, so I can grab this and pull it back to where it needs to be. Then I can grab this video and drop it in there where I want it to be um, replaced. Okay. So the last part of doing this is to replace the audio with another uh, uh, audio section. So let's say that at the at the end of this video, I want to. Um, replace it with let me just get rid of that picture there for the moment um, I want to replace it with a, a ending theme song or something like that so uh, let me go ahead and bring that that audio clip in alright so uh, I have this other little video clip over here and it's got uh, some audio in it that I want to steal um, so it's just a uh, just a little uh, ukulele music at the end so let's say I want to uh, steal that, that audio there. Um, so I'm going to go over here and click on that clip. And uh, let me move that over and expand it so you can see it a little bit better because it's a short clip. All right, so I'm going to click on this clip and I'm going to right click. Again, go up here to unlink audio and video. And verify that, yep, those are unlinked now. And I'm going to highlight the, the video portion because that's the part I don't want. I just want to steal the audio. And I'm going to hit delete. And uh, so now I just have this little section of, of uh, audio here. And I'll change my scale back. And again, I'm not doing this in uh, any particular place. But let's say I want to put that, uh, for whatever reason, right here in the, in the clip. Again, I verify these are unlinked. Or actually, let's go back. Let's pretend that they're uh, they're linked. So let me uh, let me move this audio over here to where uh, I can follow it a little bit better. When I uh, there we go. When I rescale this. All right. So if I wanted to do it where it was unlinked, I would just cut this again. Uh, delete the section that I cut and, uh, and put it in there but let's go back here and put it uh, maybe at the beginning where it's linked let's uh, zoom in a little bit 
And so now again, these are linked. When I highlight one, it highlights both of them. So again, right click, go up here, audio and video, unlink those. And now I can verify that uh, if I click on something, these are different. So now I want to split my audio. So I'm going to go up here, click on my audio clip, go up timeline, split clip. I'm going to move this over here to where it's at the start so I know exactly how long it is and everything's lined up. I'm going to move this over here to the very end of the audio I want to replace. And I'm going to go back here to the audio track. I'm going to go timeline, split clip. So now those are split and I'm going to hit delete and you'll notice it moved my my audio clip to close it again that's not what I want so we're going to move that back again because my marker is in the right place and move it back and then I can grab this and drop it down into here um, or again I could just leave it up there where it's at because it's it, it's going to play uh, no matter what so so now I would uh, my audio would go I'd have the different audio in there and then it comes back in and you can see um, our audio and our video are still linked up and still still synced together so uh, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea how to uh, play with your your audio and your video um, where you can take and put in different clips different video clips different um, pictures and keep your audio going the same or even replace a chunk of your audio with some other audio uh, that comes in handy if you record something and you uh, you misstate something or say give a wrong number or just mispronounce something and uh, use the wrong word in the original clip. You can go back and go, oh man, I, I said John, I was supposed to say James uh, or something. And uh, you just get you, uh, your camera out, say the right word, uh, put that video in there, unlink the audio and the video and uh, cut out the word where you said John and replace it with the James and then uh, it, it all flows smoothly and uh, it'll sound good so hopefully that gives you some idea on how to do that and work with your audio and your text and your uh, your audio and your video tracks